it's me. I'm gonna make this look for you. I'm gonna be using my Coastal Scents um, sample palette. It's a four quad palette that I got either in BoxyCharm or Birchbox, one of my beauty subscriptions. And I wanted to make this look Valentine Day look de to dos um, for you. And it's got this pretty pink and pink and a sculpted eye. Um, I think it turned out really well. This was not using any false eyelashes, so if you're not comfortable um, making sure the look has them, this one will work really well for you. Of course, if you feel like bumping up the look to a false eyelash look, please do. I love lashes, and they love you. So if you want to keep seeing how I made this look, keep on watching. Thanks! So I wanted to use my Coastal Scents Revealed Palette Sampler. Did I get it in my birch box or my boxy charm? Oops, I can't remember. <laughs> well, we're gonna do my eyes first. We're gonna start with uh, Max Painterly Pro, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Let me show you the black. <laughs> that was stupid. So I'm gonna cancel out all the coloration and discoloration I have on my lids. Kim says, it looks like a big pot of concealer. It does look like a big pot of concealer. I spent the afternoon with my friend Kathy Canyweld um, at her house. We did some crafting. Um, I will link her blog here below if you want to check her out. She's major talented. Major talented. I'm kicking that under my eye too. This is my primer things good. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna actually do my brows first to give me a frame of mind. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm sure you don't mind at all, huh? You don't mind. I'm gonna use my Brow Fantasy by Revlon in dark brown. <laughs> it was fun. I made Valentine's. And by the time this uh, video posts, I'm sure she'll have it already. I made a Valentine <clears throat> for my girlfriend, Kim. Um, I'm going to take this palette. It's very soft and powdery because it's cracked already. <laughs> Sorry about it. Sorry about it. And this is going to be a pretty smarkly, smarkly, it's a new word, pretty smarkly look, sparkly. And I'm going to take this brush here. And I'm going to push that over here into my eyebrow area. And then I'm going to take it on the other side because there's two of them. No, I still haven't been able to go get my brows waxed. It's been very, very busy. Good news. Uh, Mom had a CT scan today. They had found uh, a shadow spot on her upper right lung x-ray when she had went in for pre-op x-rays prior to her hip surgery and they said through the CT scan it looked like a benign uh, mass so I cried with tears of joy today while I was at Kathy's house kind of embarrassed myself there but I couldn't help it I was very happy she was very like oh by the way I'm picking that same shimmery color as I just keep painting onto my lid area I thought you would like to know what I was up to. I'm looking for a fluffy blush. Brush. I'm gonna take. Ugh, oh, the black just broke. It just fell right out of my sample. What do you want for a sample? Just got black all over my fingers, too. I'm going to take this uh, brown shade right here on top of the quad and take a little of that pigment and rock it up here as a transition shade. 
I swatched them all on the back of my hands to see what colors I was going to play with. And this is the combination I designed in my head. What was I talking about, my mom? Tears of joy, embarrassment? Is that where I was? Oh, we'll change the subject. We went to have lunch today at a cute coffee shop in Mesa. They changed the names, I can't remember what it's called anymore. Just swiping it back and forth. I think I need a sip of water. <clears throat> Fangirl. Um, anywho, we had lunch. We shared two sandwiches and it was a brie, turkey, apple, spinach sandwich. Just rocking this back and forth in my socket area. Well, actually above my socket area since I have hooded eyes. And then we also ordered the turkey avocado pesto delicious sandwich thing and it was really good and I went to go pay and I noticed on their counter they don't accept bills larger than 20 and I hadn't gotten any of my money broken so I was like oh no god I wanted to buy Kay I wanted to buy um, Kathy some lunch I'm gonna use the purpler tone now with a 217 I wanted to buy her lunch and I'm like oh no but the lady who heard my conundrum, she let me use my $100 bill, so I was very happy because I was like, I intended to buy this woman uh, lunch, and now I can't because she won't take my money. I didn't know anybody didn't take that kind of money anymore. My dad is still like, don't give me 100 where am I going to spend that? And my mom says, Sam spends that at Circle K. It's true. So I'm just in, um, using that purpler shade to intensify my crease area and kind of blending over to the side of that bottom lid, making a soft C shape. First impressions of this Coastal Scents palette. One, besides it being really soft and crumbly, it is blendable. It blends beautifully. I'm blending just fine here. I like it. Um, I wish they would have sent more than just the matte black shade for me to try out, but it was in my little sample box, so who's going to complain, right? I'm not going to. Sorry, I have itchies. I use Q-tips when I need to itch. Um, I'm going to now take some of that off my hand. <laughs> I'm going to prime my face with um, the Pore Professional by Benefit. <clears throat> I know I, I have every idea that this is going to smear black all over my face from that crumbled piece of eyeshadow. Coastal shade, uh, Coastal scent so far makes me happy. It makes me happy. I'm not done yet, by the way. I still have more eyes to do, but I wanted to get my foundation on. And we're going to use, sorry, I'm just going to put a little bit more on my pores. A little less, less there. We're going to use my Maybelline Dream Smooth Matte Mousse, and I got it in color 240 Natural Beige. It looks like this. It looks like this. It has a thingy with the sponge, and it has a thingy with the makeup. And I'm actually going to use this just to dot makeup over my face, and then blend it in this time with my Beauty Blender to see how that works, because I haven't tried it with the Beauty Blender yet. Used it with a buffing brush from Sonia Kashuk, and that worked out well. This formula has a very cool feel to it because it, it feels very moisturizing. I have my blender. Start pouncing this into my face. I love my blender. It loves me. Blend, 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 we had a delicious lunch, and I had a delicious half-half cappuccino with lunch blenda. I love cappuccino. I always forget that I love cappuccino because I like the foam in my... I like the foam. I don't know. There's something about aerated milk that makes me really, really happy. 
So just so you all know, you can blend this out with a, a buffing brush or you can use your beauty blender. And it does a beautiful job. Nice makeup. Um, I do believe it's still a buildable coverage if you need more coverage. I don't mind seeing my skin through some of my foundations. Um, it makes me feel like a real woman. But then again, it's hard to cover up um, acne scars a lot of the time. So I think I've kind of almost just gotten used to it. Now we're going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Concealer and Natural Neutralizer. Neutralize, you know you want it. Oh, I forgot to do stuff. I've been getting into the habit of putting in product that I've used during a video into a Ziploc bag so that I don't have to write it down because I'm too lazy to write down what I've used before I put it into my description bar. And, sorry. I am just doing dishes, as I like to call it. Doing some dishes. Okay, guess what we're going to use? Say it with me, like Blue's Clues. Laura Mercy AC Brain Brainer. And Aerial Techniques. This stuff locks it after you load it. Locking it after I load it. Locking it, locking it, locking it. I had been watching some of Kathy Canuel's video vlogs um, on her channel that, again, I said I was going to link below, and I will. And she had gotten a small haul, a big haul, actually, of Wet n' Wild from the drugstore. She loves Wet n' Wild. You know I love Wet n' Wild. I have a whole playlist dedicated to my Wet n' Wild. I buy almost every palette there is. Try them. It's only a few have not made my happy happy list it depends on what kind of eyeshadow it is usually I love their satins and I love their shimmers I am a hit and miss with their matte shadows so far so all right so that is that now did I mention that this is going to be kind of like a secondary Valentine's look sorry if I didn't but that's what I intend it to be so sorry if I didn't tell you <laughs> sorry about it okay I'm gonna take my 217 that's already been used in that matte black and get a little bit right here on the tip and just drag it deep into my natural crease not my fake crease that I make Da 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 blend 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 blend. That intensified it a bit. I'm not getting a ton of fallout, just so you know, from the sampler from Coastal Scents, so that's impressive. Especially when it comes to black matte shadow. Um Seems to, I always think it's funny that when I move to my left eye, I have to hold it like this. And I hold it like this, like a, I don't know. I hold it like a shovel when I'm doing my left eye. And apparently I make some awesome makeup faces. You know, I think Kim is really going to enjoy this look. I think the only thing she would do different is use all mattes. And I'm going in with all the shimmers, but that's because that's what the palette offered. I'm going to take a pointy brush from Sonia Kashuk and that purpler, pur, purpler shade here, this one, and if I did this right, you can see me.
So I just pulled it across a little bit. Now I'm going to take, kind of wipe that brush off. My chest is red. Always, always red chested. And with that pearlescent shimmer right here, we're going to do the little corner here. And that just really opens up your eye. Get away from my red chest already. What did I tell you about looking there? Not much, I know. So that's the shadow. Oh, you know I am. I got the shadow on. And I made a huge mess on my counter from when the bla black broke. It's kind of it's kind of disturbing. When I was over at Kathy's today, she gave me this beautiful glitter shimmer from Ulta that she has never used. And it says pink shimmer powder. And I was playing with it, and I decided that it would be really fun, and it came with this most adorable little miniature powder puff thing ever that I want to play with and might save and give to Trillian. <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Trillian is my friend's doll. And I'm, gonna, I'm looking for just like a little flat brush, like this one. I think you can use that for lips, too. And with the powder, I press them there. I'm stamping the glitter on top of my lid. Oh, that's really pretty. So excite, fangirl. It's got this pink, pearlescent glitter thing going on here. We like that. Can you see it? Oh, you can. That's neat. I'm putting it in my little corner, too. I, think I decided that the reason I was going to use this glitter was just to really amp up the Valentine's Day factor. Because you know, you want to make it look extra special. You may not wear glitter every day. I do if I can. And this look would look beautiful in a candlelight dinner. You know, make your own candlelight. So, so sparkly! Can't get enough. Can't get enough of my sparkles. Thank you, Kathy. I love it. She gave me a white one too, which I'll be excited to try, but I thought the pink would lend itself well to this little design of wanna wanna. What do you think? So far so good. I'm gonna liquid line. Kathy was mentioning how um She's a very frugal girl, and I really respect that about her. And she really makes her money last that way. So when she was shopping for um, when she was shopping for her makeup in Walgreens, she saw that Wet n Wild had eyeliners, and they're really good ones. They're waterproof eyeliners for like three dollars. I wanted to mention to Kathy that another one to look into would be NYX NYX. Um, they sell that at Target now. And it's not three dollars, but I think five or six dollars, and you're getting really good quality also. So try NYX. You might really enjoy it. I know you like Rimmel. I like Rimmel. I want you to try Milani. They've got great makeup. A little higher price to higher than uh, Wet n Wild but some really cool products that you really might enjoy. So I just wanted to mention that to you. And to everybody else who was watching. <laughs> All right, that's nice. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put some blusher. Blusher, blusher, blusher. I'm gonna use the um, Sweet Cheeks Blush by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. It came in my girlfriend's Ipsy bag and she did not want it. And this one actually does a great job of highlighting as it blushes, so. Taking a fluffy brush, and I'm making myself look like a schoolgirl. Not really. But you see, as I buff it in, you can begin to see that shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. So again, um, with one product, you're getting a nice candlelit glow before you get to the candles. I think this is a great night blush. I don't think you should wear this shimmer blush. Um, in the sun, because all you would see is this reflection on your cheeks instead of a pop of color. But when you're in the candlelight and the light's flickering, 
you're just gonna look luminous. 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 It's true, I swear. Listen to Sam, he knows something. A little bit. Sometimes I know a little bit. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Which means I hope you know that I'm not putting lashes on. I don't need to. Under three or five. On the way home from Kathy's house, her gorgeous boys were in the back seat. And Kathy, um, we were talking about Thad's birthday and how he's going to turn into a teenager this year. Nine, and he was just. Well. So I sang her to her another song. I'm going to use my Definisil, Lancome Definisils mascara. And I sang her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all came down to the Ladybug's picnic. She got a big kick out of that. She goes, I don't, I remember that now. And me being, you know, like, oh, it's the Muppets. It's on the Sesame Street show. And so when my mother sings that song to um, her grandkids, she uses Teddy Bear Picnic because there's a book with teddy bears. But the cartoon on Sesame Street was Ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I sing her the fishy song. And then her boys were laughing at me. She's a seven-year-old as well. His name's Elliot. It was really interesting seeing um, the different rooms of each boy. Sad is very organized. Very organized, very neat. He has everything where he wants it. A place for everything. Everything in its place. And then Elliot, being seven, it's much more creative where you store things. <laughs> I am getting under my lashes here. Much more creative. Dun 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 dun. Alright, for this sweet romantic look. Sorry. I am going to um, actually do a pink lip with two different shades. I'm going to use this Kat Von D. Painted Love Lipstick. And I'm focusing that on the outer corners of my lips. Mm. <laughs> Hombre. Doesn't help to go back and forth. It does, actually. And then on the inner part, I'm using this uh, Sally Girl from Sally Beauty Supply. And it's a really pretty pink shimmer. And the other one is matte. Yeah. I know it doesn't seem like I did a lot of stuff, but I don't even think I remembered when I cut off in the film. I hope I didn't do something important and lose you. I just looked up and went, oh, I'm on 2 minutes 45 seconds. So anywho, this is the look. <laughs> I hope I didn't just keep rambling on and not finish the story or something. I'm sorry if I did, because that means I'm stupid. Um, come on closer. Oh, that's the other way. I like this look a lot. Do you see that glitter? Oh, it's shimmer pretty. Pink. Oh, wait, let me show your cheek. Highlight. I know I have acne. It's just okay, I'm still pretty. Highlight. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's great. Anywho, this is the completed look. I've got my sweet romantic hair with my pretty pink pout. I'm ready to be wooed at the light, uh, the candlelit table. I'll have some lobster and steak, please. I'll just eat the salad right now. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.